Pull up to the yard and there's my old baby. Oh, man, I miss this thing. Right, guys so that's why it's always important to still go underneath the truck even if uh, you did the tug test because sometimes it'll still unlock and that's the last thing you want I always get so paranoid to do this because one time I made the mistake of being confident of just reversing the truck straight into the trailer and I didn't realize that my fifth wheel was sitting a little lower and when I backed in the trailer hit the back of the white truck. It was actually that white truck over there. Actually, no, you know what? I'm lying. It was the brown, the brown semi truck. If you guys have been here long enough, you guys know that. I used to drive a brown semi truck as well. And I remember when that happened, I was like, oh my gosh, I was freaking out. My uncle was in Mexico and I didn't want to tell him. <laughs> and I didn't until he got home and he's seen the dent in the back. He's like, Gabe, hey, what happened here? And I had a time then. But he's like, you need to tell me whenever something happens. And I was just scared, but yeah, I remember that. That's I've always been paranoid because of that. Now I'm actually gonna grab the forklift and bring the pallet down. That way I don't gotta open my doors and back up to us. So I've turned on my reefer. Bam! I have been thinking about getting myself a little camper. I've been looking, I haven't found anything, but I think I am. The minute I find one, I'm gonna get one, man, because I've always wanted to do that, like go camping with my family and stuff like that, so it'd be really cool to, to start doing that kind of videos too. And obviously still trucking vlogs on the daily all the time, every week. But every once in a while, you know, just throw in a camping in the car truck uh, video. Just switch it up a little bit. Gotta pull this trailer up and then we're good to go. Now a word from our sponsor. This spring, HelloFresh takes the hassle out of mealtime by delivering pre-portioned ingredients and easy to prepare recipes right to your door. Skip the checkout lines and get outside in the warmer weather because HelloFresh has dinner covered today. One of the things I love about HelloFresh is the fact that you're getting seasonal ingredients picked at peak ripeness for quality you can taste. Ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than seven days so you know that they're fresh. Honestly, I don't like cooking and I feel like I kind of suck at cooking. But you don't gotta worry if you're not a pro in the kitchen. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. If I can do it, you can do it. I love today's sponsor because I actually use this. Me and my wife have been using HelloFresh for the past year and we genuinely love it. It's helped us out so much. We don't have to worry about what are we gonna cook today because we just look in the fridge and we have different options in there. And it's not only dinner. You can do breakfast, you can do snacks. You got a birthday party, they got you covered. Thanksgiving? They got you covered. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code AlexNino50 for 50% off. Plus, your first box ships for free. Now, we enjoy. Don't forget to use code AlexNino50 to get 50% off your first box. Now, let's get back to the trucking video. Just make sure that I'm taking the right Okay, I gotta take this one right here Take the little one and then there's a grapefruit as well Grapefruit is in the trailer
right guys so we had a hectic little hour and a half so i kind of stopped recording but now i am at this location right here and i remember this exact same location i had the worst time trying to park in here and there's actually been a lot of people that have broken their trailer doors backing into it because it's like kind of narrow it's not hard it's a straight back but it's super narrow so you got to be like precise we're gonna try to see if i can get this first try Get it done. I thought this light was gonna hit. I was like, damn it. Woo! Got my paperwork in and out of that place. Now, let's start driving. Yeah, the sun is in my eyes. I gotta be careful leaving this place because I always get scared that I'm gonna hit something. Especially with my lights now. Oi. I'm gonna break my lights. I always get so tensed up trying to get out of this place. All right, let's go close these doors. Man, and I love how the lights look. I can't wait to see what it looks like at night. Ooh, tight little spot right here. Man, I don't know if I'm gonna And your boys got this. Perfect, man. Got out of that place like walk in the park. I know for a fact that this was three years ago, I'd be scared. I probably would have called Malcolm like, hey, man. What am I going to do? Right, guys, so I just decided that I'm going to pull over real quick and actually grab something to eat. I haven't really ate all day at all. I actually seen my, my grandma sitting next to me. Uh, three weeks before I got into one of the worst car accidents of my entire life And I've actually talked about this before so no and no, I'm not making this up I feel like a lot of people always think that like scary stories are fake or like I, and I feel like there's just a lot of people that don't believe in ghosts But I'm just like nah, dude like it's real um, Even this one time a little bit off topic, but um, me and my wife were driving back from Bakersfield and we had a super long day and we seen someone running across the freeway and we slammed on our brakes and we're like what the hell like why would that person do that me and her both seen the person and then we went back to look at the camera there was literally nobody there at all we went back we we lifted up the brightness we edited the picture we lowered the contrast we did everything to possibly that you can possibly think of to be able to see somebody there was nobody there literally nobody at all that was probably one of the freakiest stories or things that's happened to us to me on the road and I don't know if I was just tired or what but I'm, I remember that vividly because whenever we pass by that same freeway on the 99 we always get the chills and we always talk about it but let's go um Let's go get some. Dang, I love that. Let's go get some, uh, some in and out.
Man, the inside looks so nice. Can't tell me it doesn't, man. The truck also looks pretty good from far. Love it. Hi. Um, can I get a number two, please? Onions on your cheeseburger? Um, can I get onions and grilled onions, please? Okay. And chopped chilies in it? Okay. And that's gonna be it. We're here today? Uh, to go, please. 61, okay. I'll just leave right here. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Secure the bag. So today we're staying this exact location is a location where me and my uncle have always whenever we stay here we always get the ugliest feelings um, and I think it's because I think a little bit more down the hill someone passed away and there's like a big old cross on the floor so when, but whenever me and my uncle stay here, we always get these ugly feelings, especially at night. And I even one time um, got sleep paralysis. If you guys don't know what sleep paralysis is, I will pop up a definition right here. But it's one of the ugliest feelings ever. And ever since then, I have not stayed here. But for the sake of the video, I'm gonna do it for you guys. <laughs> probably won't be that bad, but in my head, I'm probably gonna make it bad. But let's get ready for bed. Make myself a cup noodles. We're gonna watch a podcast, and I want to show you guys the lights again. I like get such a vibe in here, man. Let's get ready for bed. I kind of want to show you guys it's just like a ugly sketchy area it's kind of reminds me of like hills have eyes type vibes we're lonely literally like all you see nothing but hill it's just really freaking creepy man and then down there there's just this light post <laughs> with a light just right there. And I don't know, I don't know. This area right here just, I don't, me and my uncle hate this spot.
honestly, I think being a truck driver is probably one of the loneliest jobs you can have. If you're an introverted person, this is the perfect job for you, but it honestly really does get super lonely, especially when you have a family. I have three kids and a wife, and I get super lonely. Sometimes I get really depressed on the road, and I don't even stay out on the road that long. A week at the most. It's super hard though, because then there's times where you miss stuff. Like I missed my son's first day of school ever and i remember being so sad about that so bummed out but i've always told myself that you got to be able to make sacrifices if you want to give your family the life that they deserve life is all about sacrifices and if you're not willing to make sacrifices i feel like sometimes if you're not willing to make sacrifices you won't get ahead you just have to, you got to make sacrifices man especially as a truck driver Well, I actually remember that my brother-in-law stayed down here too and he heard knocking on the back of his sleeper like back here like if someone was on the catwalk knocking on it and he looked outside and there was no one there and it sounded like this myself a coffee Oh, yeah. Now we're just gonna let it cool down a little bit because it's super hot. I still need to use this air fryer. I haven't used it yet. That wasn't as bad as I thought, but I did have an ugly dream. I had a dream that there's um, there's a guy chasing me with a gun. <laughs> 